Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. Y'all, I'm here with a dream. In his dream, I'm throwing a party with, uh, and it's like a bunch of people over. Like, I had a bunch of bunch of people over, and uh, they were making just a huge mess. Like, this reminded me of being, a, it was reminiscent of teenage years. Having a bunch of people over, they just make it a mess. Like, and it's like everywhere. And it was ridiculous. It was like, like it was a ridiculous extent, which I never, I, I, I don't think I've ever experienced having friends that did stuff like this here. Okay, in reality, I'll be real and say that nobody, I didn't really recognize very many people that were in my dream. It was like a bunch of um, strangers in my dream, but it was mess everywhere. Like, okay, <laughs> candy and chocolate everywhere. Okay. In the drawers, like, there was this drawer that was filled with candy and chocolate. And it's kind of like the chocolate melted and was all over the drawer. And some of the candies came out of the thing. And you, it, it was just nasty. And, um, I'm, I'm like, cleaning, right? And I'm getting, I'm cleaning this up. And one uh, of the friends come over and she, like, Oh, let me see. And she like wants to taste it. And I'm like, Ugh, okay. And she's like, do you want to make it into a jug drawer? No, I'm finna clean this and no candy going up in here ever again. Okay. Um, then there is chocolate all over the table. Like it's like a, um, like a, a dining room table and it is covered in chocolate. And it's like little gummy worms, uh, like everywhere where well, they taking the gummy worms, sliding it all across the table with the chocolate and eating it. And I'm like, I tried and it tastes awful. Like it was so nasty. I spit it out and I started throwing all that stuff in the trash. And, um, you know, wiping it down, washing it, disinfecting everything. Next, my combs, my brushes. It's like nobody took out the time, effort, and energy to pull their hair out of cones and brushes. And this is something like me personally, even with my own personal combs and brushes, even though y'all should probably know that I don't have normal combs and brushes because I have locks and I have no reason to have a normal comb except uh, to do my son's hair. He have his own combs. And like, uh, you know, for parting, I have a... a an edge brush but you know the brush that i have and the comb that i have is really for like you know these curls down here at the end or like if i just decide that i'm gonna braid up my locks and put on a wig it's a wig brush and you know wig comb i, I, I don't really have the normal comb the normal combs that you know you know what i'm saying what everybody else will have but in this dream i did and their hair was in the combs and it was frustrating me because i was like why would you do that okay <laughs> i was like you don't leave your hair and nobody call you don't leave your hair nowhere i i tried like baby let me tell you i do not leave my hair nowhere 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 I, it's going down the drain it's going in the trash it's gone uh-uh but baby, lo and behold, they didn't left all their hair and crevices all in my combs, all in my brushes. I'm cleaning all this stuff out and, you know, just washing everything and cleaning everything. They see me cleaning. And instead of anybody helping, it's a bunch of people here now, okay? Ten plus people here now. Nobody helping me. They are getting dressed to go to a party and they did not invite me. But they plan on coming back to my house, okay? <laughs> my mom will see me cleaning, and she's like, uh-huh. And I tell her, you know what? I think it's time for them to go home. And she started laughing. And, uh, yeah, that's the end of the dream. <laughs> that was a funny dream. Anywho. The scripture comes from Jeremiah 25 and 32. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Look, disaster is spreading from nation to nation. A mighty storm is rising from the ends of the earth. 
At that time, those slain by the Lord will be everywhere. From one end of the earth to the other, they will not be mourned or gathered up or buried, but will be like dung lying on the ground. Weeping well, you shepherds, roll in the dust, you leaders of the flock. For your time to be slaughtered has come. You will fall like the beasts of the rams. So here's what God is saying. I, I just feel like this dream and even with this scripture is a clear depiction of God is saying like for us, it may be confusing for us to tell between who is a child of God and who is not. But for God, it's clear. It's obvious. It's obvious and it's clear. And, you know, even though it's a lot of people that um, seem as though they are children of God, you know, all the people that were here in this, like, that was at this sleepover were acting a complete fool. All of them. Everybody. I was the only person cleaning up. I was the only person cleaning up. And then on top of that, they at my house. Okay, I was like, enjoy, like, you know what I'm saying, chilling at my, they done messed up the house, they see I'm cleaning up the house, not only do they not put forth any efforts to help me clean, but then on top of that, they gonna act like I am not invited to the party, like I am not good enough to go to the party, like I, like, oh no, you gonna mess up our whole, but oh baby, dude, why are you here, okay? <laughs> If we got that going on, why are you here? Why are we even friends? If you feel like me coming to the point, going to be a problem. You know what I'm saying? God said, but God said, but God said, but God said, but God said, he see clearly the difference between you and children that don't belong to him. He can see it clearly. It's obvious. It's not a situation where he's scratching his head and he's confused. It's not a situation where he can't really figure it out. It's not a situation where he's pondered and he's like, you know, trying to, you know, like, no, God already noticed. And God is saying that I just feel like in this time, he's about to make it very obvious. It is going to be um obvious to us as well and that's what happened in this dream it became obvious to me that they weren't really my friends it became obvious to me that they saw me more so as an enemy than as a friend and they were bringing more commotion to my life than they were bringing any peace and you know that was obvious they ever they they spending the night don't know when they going home they making a mess they, they, they leaving stuff everywhere. They doing all kind of nasty stuff. And I'm like, oh, no, this is getting on my nerve. And I'm cleaning up. Like, I'm cleaning up, cleaning up, cleaning up, cleaning up. And, you know, I am the kind of person where I like things to be neat and clean. And, but I don't like cleaning every day. I'm not the kind of person that I want to clean every single second of every day. I don't like that. I don't. But at the same time, I don't like stuff to be dirty. I don't like it to be all out and cooked. Like, you know what I'm saying? I make my bed up every day. That's something I do. I, you know, I vacuum every once in a while. Wash my clothes every week. But as far as me cleaning up every single, I don't like doing that. I don't. The only thing that's close to that, the restroom, obviously, you got to keep cleaning the restroom because the, it, you just do. But as far as just a full, like this kind of clean, where you emptying out the drawer and you got to scrub the drawer clean and you got to use all these different disinfectants and you got to disinfect the table and then you got to do all that. And man, ain't nobody got time for all that. And then they planning on trying to do it again, talking about we gonna make that a junk joy. No, we nothing. You finna go, uh oh. <laughs> we nothing. <laughs> uh, it's just like it was to an extent like they was doing stuff I wouldn't even do. And apparently not even my house because my mom is there. So it's like, y'all tripping. <laughs> what is wrong with y'all? <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I'm going to be real moments being nice in this dream because when I was young, she would tell them something, baby, quickly. What, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> I just feel like God has said he is going to make it obvious. He is going to make it obvious. He is going to make it obvious 
who is his children and who is not. Who is his child and who is not. Now, this is not going to be a situation, okay? This is not uh, going to be a situation where it's like, you know, like this is going to be for people uh, that you are around. So, like, people that you have relationships with. Just like in his dream, it was between me and my friends, okay? So... From the beginning of the dream, I would say before, like during the party, before everything got the way it was, I thought they were my friends. I thought we were on the same page. I thought everything was good. But by the end of the dream, I had understanding that they did not see me the way I saw them. God is saying that that is what it is. You will have understanding of how people see you. You will have understanding on who is for you and who not you will have understanding of who is you know and you know it, it's not to say that them being for god means that they for you but if you are a child of god it's like like you know i'm not expecting them to worship me i'm not expecting them to do everything for me and me to sit down while they clean up it's not a situation where i'm expecting them to act as if I'm the queen of everything. But at the least, they could at the very least see that I'm cleaning up they mess and put forth some effort to help. Me as a child, I don't, I don't remember ever going to a friend house and they cleaning up and I help to mess up and I don't help. I was never like that. So, you know, I just feel like it's a situation where you are going to peep how somebody treats you versus how you treat them. And I'm just being real. I, I'm being very honest. There were many times that I would go to somebody's house. I just spent the night. I've been over there for several days. I'm helping to clean up. Period. I'm not going to act, you know, even if it is a situation where usually at home I don't do that. It, it is what it is. Okay. I help to mess it up. So it's fair. And I just feel like for whoever this is for, God is going to show you the difference. You're going to peep that. You're going to peep that. You're going to peep that. The difference between a real friend and a fake friend. And, and you know what I'm saying? That's just real. And, and even if you end up, you find yourself in a position to where you like, um, wasn't no real ones. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like it's better to be with uh, no friends at all than to have a gang full of fake friends. Like, baby, baby, it is better. 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 To be alone and in good company than to be in a room full of people that are snakes. A room full of snakes. A room full of people that hate you. A room full of people that don't like you. I just feel like that. And that's the truth. I would rather be alone in good company than to be invited to a party where everybody hate me. And everybody trying to come together to gather a plot. They got to get a plot together so they can come against me. And I have actually heard uh, a woman give a testimony about how that literally happened to her. She went to a party. She was invited to this guy's house to a party. And they were trying to take her up out of here. They were beating her to literally the whole group of people. People that she didn't even know. They had come together with a plan to take her out. And that's, like, this is somebody's true story. Like, it, it's a true story. It's on YouTube. Obviously, I'm not, I, don't, I don't remember her name and all that. But, it, it's like, this is sad. It is very sad that people will do this. So, once again, I would prefer to be alone in good company by myself than to be around a group of people that don't mean me no good. And that's just real. And God is saying for somebody, you are about to be in a position to where God is about to show you what's real. God is going to show you the difference between the real and the fake. Those that love you, those that don't. Those that are his children and those that are children of Satan. Because we already know children of God would never come together and think of some kind of idea. Ah, I know what we should do today. We should beat up that girl that did such and such because he's a good guy and he deserves to have somebody even though he already got somebody. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take her out because how dare she decide that she don't want to be his side piece and she don't want to fight with his girlfriend all the time. Ain't nobody got time for that. That is crazy. That is insanity. And that's literally what happened. That like this is you you have to think about the mind state that these people were in to think that they, that even made sense. That was even logical, a logical reason for them to beat up somebody they didn't even know. They hadn't even met this girl. And they just came together and decided that they was going to do that to her. 
Baby, ain't nobody got time. I'd rather be a baby alone in good company. Rather be alone in good company than to be surrounded by a group of snakes. And God is saying for somebody. Hopefully, prayerfully, your situation is not all the way there, okay, to what she was at, because that was so sad. I couldn't even get through it without crying, you know what I'm saying? But, um, I just feel like, I just feel like for whoever this is for, and interesting enough, towards the end, she said she, uh, blacked out, but then they kept hitting her, so she woke back up and she started praying. And once she started praying, the demons inside of them got scared. And somebody ended up coming. Like somebody heard, somebody called the ambulance or the police or something like that. And they all left. And that's the only reason she survived. But baby, I don't know. I just pushed, I was just pushed to say that. But um, the saddest thing about, you know, I just feel like the saddest thing about it is it could be a situation like, you know, even in her, like, using her as an example, these are people that were strangers to her. And she couldn't even understand how, like, it was something that she would never do to someone else, even if she hated them. And these are people that did not know her, never saw her before, didn't know nothing about her, but they hated her to such an extent that they decided to do that to her. And then she also found out that, you know, I think a family member of hers knew some of those people. They were there at that party, but they left out the back door before she got there. Um, they confirmed that that was her, that, you know what I'm saying, that was her. And this person is the person that hooks up with the guy that got hurt but hurt because she didn't want to be his side piece and it, it was just a bunch of mess but i'm just saying i'm saying all this to say god said he is revealing he is revealing he is revealing who will be who are his children in your life and who are not who like and, and i'm saying this to say you know some people think that if somebody is rich then they gotta be a child of god and that's not true it could literally be a situation where somebody is showing that they are a child of God by their fruit, by how they treat you, by what they do, by how, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like this is a situation you looking at what they do. What kind of person are they? And, and how do they treat you? How are they for, towards you? You know what I'm saying? A person that is a child of God, they not sitting around trying to talk talk about you all the time. They not gossiping about you. They not trying to talk down about how you dress. They not trying to go and to such and such and they trying to talk about, oh, I don't like them because this, that, and the third. And I heard this and I heard that. They not doing all that. That is not what a child of God would do because God don't like a gossip. This is not somebody that's going to sleep, try to, uh, you know, be lustful towards your person. You know what I'm saying? Like the um, time I told y'all about, I had a friend in the backseat of the car. My my ex was taking us home. She in the backseat of the car trying to show him all her goodies in the backseat. Like he would be interested in her. And he wasn't. Okay. And it's just like, like God is going to show you the fruit. God is going to show you the fruit. And when God say the fruit, he's talking about their attitudes, their personality. What is in here? Because God does not just bless us. The fruit that God gives us is not just materialistic. It is also spiritual, emotional, mental. Like these are, these are fruit. And God is saying that he's going to show you what who, who this person is on the inside, not just on the outside. It's not always just going to be the prettiest person in the room. And it's not always going to be the most attractive person. It's not always going to be the person that you think smells like pomegranates and roses. This is like, this is going, but this is going to be somebody that you are going to tell by their fruit, the God given fruit, that they are a child of God. They truly, genuine, lo genuinely love you. They truly, genuinely care about you. They truly, genuinely mean you well. But those that don't, God said, disaster is spreading from nation to nation. A mighty storm is rising from the ends of the earth. God said the, 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 like, if you even notice the way things are going in the world today, the way people are treating each other, the way people are behaving, the way people are acting, evilness is spreading. There are people, it's like the, the demons are just spreading and they jumping into people and they jumping into people. This is spreading. It is spreading to such an extent that even in this dream, 
it was just like I I had like ten plus friends in the house. Not one of them helped me clean up. They all was being funny, acting. They all was being mean. They all was messing up the house. I was the only one. So for some of you, it may be a situation where you're gonna be alone but in good company. Because the evilness is spreading. Everybody want to gossip. Everybody want to sleep around. Everybody want to party and drink all night. Everybody want to go and act a fool all the time. Everybody want to fight and take people out. Everybody want to go and set people up. Everybody want to do all these wicked, evil things that are going on in this world. Everybody is a lover of themselves. Everybody is the love of, lover of money. Everybody is chasing after this, that, and the third. Baby, don't you see it? I know you see it. I know you see it. Everybody is wrapped up in some kind of gang organization. Everybody is wrapped up in some kind of prostitution one way or another. Everybody is out here doing this, making silly decisions. Everybody is acting like they about this, but they really about that. Everybody is everywhere. It's everywhere. I'm even hearing how the passport rolls, which were supposedly, allegedly, men... They were allegedly men that were actively trying to go out and find wives that were uh what what did they say they want they want um wives that that do like the old days and they want a stay at home wife and they want her to be submissive and they want her to do this that and the third. They are going to these other countries and getting taken up out of here. And I talked about that. I think about a few weeks ago, a month ago, these men in these countries are not going to be happy about these men coming from here, going to their country, trying to take their women. Okay. And they going over there thinking that they getting in a relationship with somebody and they really is spreading spreading they're going over there claiming that they looking for a relationship but they really claim they're really going over there for a good time and that's the truth and that's the truth and you know that is the reason that they have problems here because you know like i said it's women here that want to get married it's women here that want to be submissive it's women here that want a husband but if that man is not willing to actually, like if the man is not willing to actively put forth an effort and he's not willing to try, then no, it's not going to work. And <clears throat> that's just what it is. But here's the thing. God said he's going to make it obvious. Just like this is that that situation is obvious. Everything that's done in the dark comes to the light. They was on their podcast screaming and shouting about how they going to do this and they going to do that and they going to do this and they going to do that. And now it has come to the light everywhere. There are people complaining about how they go there. They mess around with prostitutes. They act a fool and they leave. That is what they are doing. They are not looking for wives. They are not looking to settle down. They're not looking to treat anybody right. They are acting a complete fool the same way they was acting a complete fool here. God say it is spreading. The wicked mindset is spreading. Satan's way of life is spreading. Evil ways, that is spreading. And it is going to be obvious who is of God and who not. It's going to be obvious. It's going to, like, this is, it's going to be obvious. It's going to be obvious. And I'm saying that to say, because once you start trying to, you know, get into that lifestyle, portraying yourself as one of Satan's kids, they're going to want you, you got to prove yourself to them too. Yeah, they will. They're going to want you to prove yourself. And that's really to get you all the way in. You got to do another sin. And now you got to do another sin. And come on, we need you to do another sin. And you you ain't really down. Do another sin. That's not, like that's what that's legit what they're going to do. And eventually it's going to be to a point that it's obvious. You can't play about it. Like it's obvious. You can't miss it. You can't like. And that's what God is saying in his message. And it is a to an extent. It is to an extent where the scripture that says that the it is a narrow path. It is a hard, the hardest path is to stay going down the route that God to follow Christ. It is a very hard path to follow. It is a very hard path to stay on. It is few. 
And in this dream, I was the only one in the group. And I'm just saying this to somebody, you know what I'm saying? And this is not a message of God saying that you need to start going around hitting people in the head with a Bible. Because you can't make nobody do nothing. But God does want you to be very alert because you don't want to find yourself in a situation to where somebody peeps that you're not down with what they down with. And they trying to figure out some kind of way to set you up. They trying to figure out some kind of way to take you out. They trying to figure out some kind of way to do this, that, and the third to you. Because how dare you want to follow Christ? How dare you want to live a, a normal life? And how dare you not want to do what they're doing? And how dare you not want to partake in this, that, and the third? And how dare you? Even in this situation in the dream, you you could tell like the way that they was acting like you you don't want to go to the party. You wouldn't even have fun there. Like I'm supposed to try to fight to go to the party. I was like, you know what? That's fine. Y'all go ahead and go. And please don't come back. Okay. I just feel like it's a situation where this is like the, the you 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 gonna be able to tell. And they gonna be able to tell as well. And that's the message. That's the message. Whew, that's the message. That's the message. For some of y'all, it's gonna be as simple as somebody that um you you don't even understand why they're treating you a certain way and why they act in a certain way and they're being mean to you about this, that, and the third. In reality, you ain't do nothing. God is saying it's because they're gonna be able to tell as well. It's not it's not gonna just be one sided. It's gonna be obvious. It's going to be obvious that you are a child of God and that they are not. <sighs> and that's the message. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.